Hey guys, how you doing? I thought I would do a bit of an honesty post, um, a little update about my um, sober journey. Um, so many of you know that I gave up wine and alcohol last October um, and i done really, really well. Um, I stuck to it 100%. I really gave it my all. And then I went on a holiday in February to Madeira and I really, really struggled. I found it really hard not drinking. It was all inclusive. Um, and we did have a lovely holiday, but it wasn't the same without having my wine or cocktails or gin in the evening. And it kind of not ruined the holiday, but it, I felt really like hard done by by not, <laughs> by not having um, alcohol in the evening. Um, and then from then, I've just found it really hard, like, and I've almost avoided any social events because I think I can't go because I, I can't see everyone drink and I can't drink, um, which is really sad, really. Um, and I don't really want it to be like that. Um, and then I always said when I gave up alcohol um, last October that it wasn't forever. Um, I was going to do it um, until the summer this summer and when we go on our summer holiday I was going to drink and try and moderate drinking and just do it as, an, as a normal you know what what normal people do I suppose have a drink at the weekend or a glass of wine here and there um and my mum and my sister said no no don't drink in Spain um you'll go down the rabbit hole blah 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 and I thought no no it'll be fine I'll give it um I'll give it a go and we went to Spain in August and I did try a drink and yeah, I went right down that rabbit hole. <laughs> um, it, it was just too hard. I can't, I really do enjoy the feeling of having a drink and it just switches my mind off. And I think being a mum and having a hectic life, being busy, working, you know, you get to the evening and for me, I just love that glass of wine, glass bottle, um, and it just totally chills me out. And I've not really found anything that does the same thing. So I tried knitting, I tried uh, mocktails, non-alcoholic beer. Um, what else have I tried? Mindful colouring. Um, I've tried lots of different things. Um, biscuits. <laughs> and none of them have quite hit the spot. I've just not, I've found it really hard. And like I said, I was fine until I went away in February and we went on that all-inclusive holiday and I found it really, really tough. And since then, I've really struggled with it. Um, and anyway, so I had this, you know, drinks in um, Spain in August. And since then, I've found it really, really hard. So I'm kind of... My year of not drinking was on the 3rd of October, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, but I feel a bit of a fraud saying that I've been sober, sober for a year because, well, I, I didn't manage to do the whole year. Um, and it's all about mindset, isn't it? So even though you can go a year without drinking, if you're still missing the drink and you still can't go to social events because you find it too hard... You haven't quite, I, I feel like I haven't done it, do you know what I mean? So like my sister went to a fireman's ball last week and if they weren't going to get childcare, her husband said, why don't you take your sister and um, I'll have all the kids, which is lovely. Um, and my sister said, no, I'm not even going to ask her. And Matt said, why? She said, Cause she won't come, she won't be able to do it. She won't be able to go to a ball where everyone's drinking and not drink. And she's right. Uh, there's no way I would even contemplate doing that and I love balls I love getting dressed up and how sad that I can't go to something like that because I can't have a drink you know it shouldn't all be about the drink and the thing is when I don't drink you know I feel so much better in the morning like I wake up after a good night's sleep I don't have that guilt I don't have that anxiety you know I just feel so much better about myself so I do I've, I am a better person for not drinking, but I just need to work on my mindset and 
and I need to not just not drink, but not want to drink. So this next year is my sober journey times two. Um, but this time it's going to be trying to work on my actual mindset more. Um, so I've got all my quick lit books back out again, which I had last year, um, which really helped me. Um, one of my favourite books is this one, The Sober Diaries by Claire Pooley. It is brilliant. If you're a busy mum and you are sober curious, you don't have to be an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. I just love wine. And I think, you know, I don't know what the statistics are, I can't remember, but probably 99% of mums do love wine in the evening or gin, you know, because it's it's our reward, it's our treat for <laughs> getting through the day. Um, you know, and it, it, I would love to be able to moderate, like, and that was my plan last year. So when I gave up, I always said, I'm not giving up for, forever. It's a short-term thing. Um, to change my um, habits, my drinking habits, and to be able to moderate drinking like a normal person um, and drink at weekends or if I have a social event. I, I can't do that. I know I can't do that. I can't, I can't just have one glass of wine. I have to have the bottle because I like it so much and it go, goes down too quick. And the same with a gin and tonic. If I, I love gin and tonic, but I don't just want one. I want five. Um, and, yeah. I, I've got quite an addictive personality anyway, um, so I know that I can't moderate, which makes me sad because I'd love to be able to have a social drink, but I just can't do it. I need to train my brain to realise that actually I'm a better person without alcohol and I don't need it. Um, so yeah, that is my update of my one year sober journey, not so sober journey. Um, and this is the retake of year number two. Um, so if you have any tips, I'd be so grateful for any advice, any tips, anything that you've used to help you give up um, alcohol in the evening. Um, I thought about joining like a, a coaching thing. Um, I've looked at a few. Some of them look amazing, but they are very, very expensive. And the, my biggest problem is time. Like, my life's so manic, I just don't know how I'd commit to a Zoom, which is silly because I should put myself first and, you know, I could do, I could, you know, try and do um, a Zoom a week or a Zoom a day, but I just don't have time. Um, so I'm not sure about signing up to a coaching thing. So if you've got any other ideas, please let me know. Um, and like I say, anyone that else that's sober curious, thinking about giving up wine, giving up drink, um, like I say, it was probably the best thing I did last year. I felt so good for it. But I even remember Christmas Day finding it hard, not having a drink. And I want to get myself into a place where on Christmas Day this year, I don't even think about it. Drink doesn't even cross my mind. I just want a mince pie and a hot chocolate and not care about the alcohol. So any tips you've got, I'd be very, very grateful. And thank you for listening to me rabbit on. <laughs> Catch you later, guys.